Hi. Now when it comes to solving inequalities that have got mod functions in them, generally one of the easiest ways of solving them is by graphical methods. And in this fractional one, we've got 4 minus x divided by the mod of x plus 1 is greater than 3. Being a fractional one, you've always got to be careful that you're not having a negative function in the denominator for some values of x. But with this one, we've got the mod of x, so this is always going to be positive for all values of x. And then we're adding one, so the denominator will always be positive. So that means that I can multiply both sides by the mod of x plus 1, because it's a positive value. I don't have any fear that this would be negative, which would influence the inequality sign. So if I multiply then both sides by the mod of x plus 1, we therefore have 4 minus x is greater than 3 multiplied by the mod of x plus 1. Now I would multiply this out, giving us 4 minus x is greater than 3 times the mod of x plus 3. And I would subtract 3 from both sides there. So we've got 1 minus x is greater than 3 mod x. And at this point, I've got two functions of x where I could sketch the graphs quite easily. The graph of y equals 1 minus x and the graph of y equals 3 times the mod of x. So if I was to sketch that graph on axes, we we'll just mark our axes on, we've got our x-axis, y-axis, say. And if we take the graph of 3 mod x, the graph of mod x is just going to be a graph something like this, v-shaped. Multiply it by 3, and then we're going to stretch that parallel to the y-axis, scale factor 3. And it's still going to look basically v-shaped. So we'll just sketch that in, something like this, going through the origin. OK, so this is the graph then of y equals 3 times the mod of x. Now for the graph of y equals 1 minus x, it would be a graph that would cross the y-axis at 1. It's a straight line graph, linear graph. And it will have a gradient of minus 1. So it's going to look, say, something like this. We'll just mark that in as y equals 1 minus x. So what we've got then is the two points of interest are the points where the blue graph intersects the red graph. Let's mark those two points in, say, as A and B. And we're looking for where the blue graph, 1 minus x, is greater than the red graph which is essentially where the blue graph is above the red graph. And the blue graph is above the red graph in this interval between A and B. The x values that are between A and B, in other words. So I need to find out those points of intersection. So we can get these points A and B by doing simultaneous equations between the graphs. So, for instance, if we want to find out what A is, let's just say for A, then what I've got to look at is where this part of the graph of y equals 3 mod x intersects the graph of 1 minus x. So that would be when 1 minus x equals the negative branch down here. That would be 3 times negative x, or minus 3x. And so rearranging this, if I was to add 3x to both sides and subtract 1 from both sides, I'm going to get 3x minus x, which is going to be 2x, equals minus 1. So therefore, dividing by 2, x would equal minus a half at a. And then if I look at b, for b, I'm looking for where this branch of the graph of y equals 3 mod x intersects the graph of y equals 1 minus x. This branch would be the positive value of x. So that would be just simply 3x. So we have 1 minus x 
equals 3x. So 1 minus x equals 3x. And if we add x to both sides, we've got therefore 1 equals 4x. And divide both sides by 4, you end up with x equaling a quarter. So we've got our points then for a and b. So when it comes to solving 4 minus x divided by the mod of x plus 1 is greater than 3, we're looking for values then of x that are between a and b, where the blue graph is, in other words, above the red graph. So if we've got this then, 4 minus x over the mod of x plus 1 is greater than 3, then we can see that x has got to be greater than minus a half, but less than a quarter. And we have no problem with the denominator here being 0 at any time, because if we were ever dividing by 0, it would give us an undefined result. We're never dividing by 0 because this can never be 0. OK, so that means that that would be our solution to this particular inequality. All right.